We talk entertainment, politics, sports, and lots more. For more updates, join the family on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at CSL Nigeria TV. Join the family. Wakoyo, welcome to TSL On The Go. It's uh, your favorite TV host, Njoko Obina. And of course, I didn't come here alone. I came with my amazing partner. Where's this accent coming from? I came with my <laughs> amazing partner. Introduces him, my darling. My name is Amara Mweze Obina. Koyo to you too. Koyo. Welcome to the show. Yep. It's... This week has been... Uh, I saw and I met Fela and Tara Dorotoye last week and it keeps ringing a bell. That was a long time ago, it doesn't matter. It doesn't Whatever, count it matters now. to me because like you don't matter. have you don't have a life that's exciting. So It doesn't matter, it doesn't count. That was like weeks ago. <laughs> Anyways, we're looking out for the things that have happened this week and we've cooked up amazing stories for you. Mm -hmm. Without wasting time, let's check out the headlines. Today on TSL on the go, NLC TUC suspend indefinite nationwide strike. U.S. China to resume military to military communication. Obaseki lauds Obasogi on Super Eagles invitation. Rema performs at O2 Arena. This is TSL on the go. Federal government has approved 211 lo loan apps in October alone. And this story is coming as a result of the fact that people have complained. There have been several complaints about how loaning is done in this country. You know, how yeah. you know app, people use loaning apps and all that. So the government have put up a structure to make sure that this is regulated. And uh, this is actually a very welcome you know, innovation, seeing that we've had issues of um, violence, issues of abuse, issues of the general violation of human table. rights exactly from this loan apps guys Bumpy. and so this piece is not mentioned <laughs> <laughs> anyway so now the government have put up a structure to make sure that um these loan apps do everything within just in their jurisdiction and the um interest rates are not outrageous so, yeah because that's also a thing they are very very high and also the reason people go to these loan apps are very funny sometimes some people mm. go to borrow money to flex or to go and bet. I don't and think, then I don't the think, money would now backfire. And that's why they can't pay. I don't, and think, that's I don't even think what they borrow money for matters. As long as everything is just being done the right way. I feel like because this is affecting you personally. This because is not. It's not, it's okay. not because I'm just I'm just saying that what they borrow money for is nobody's business. You understand? Yeah. As long as you're doing everything right and you're doing everything in the, in the way it's supposed to be done, things will work out fine. So this is a welcome innovation. And I'm, I'm lauding the government for you know taking this step. And other news. Moving on to BEDC. Mm. Yep. The secular they brought out like last week and this week has just been very funny, outrageous, and their use of words. Yes. You know, they came out to say that power, no, I'm talking about Edo State. And um, power be disrupted for a while. A while, a while means like to a while means like to January. It exactly. means the festive periods will be without power supply. But when you say disrupt, um, you're going to disrupt something. It means that maybe it was going. We had 24 hour, um, 24 hours power supply before, and now we might be having only 20, 10, 15. And people were yeah. actually very, very confused because does this mean that we will not see light at, at all. all till January? The issue is that a lot of people are already even complaining because just two or three days alone without light, there's been a lot of headaches and all. And it means a lot of people have to buy food that they cannot even originally afford. So um, this is a shout out to the... Um... Yeah, shouting out to them. <laughs> hey, this is a wake up call. Or what do I call it now? I don't anyway, know what you want to call it. I'm, I'm saying this as in... Whatever you want to call it, but let BDC do something. January is too far. They are doing something. No, I'm saying that they January is too to, far. We cannot want to make repairs for that would help for us how in the long run. How long? But I'm wondering why, like, it has, it has to, to take this long, and they have to do it in like almost fifty percent of the state at the same time. Do you understand? And the funny thing is that prices in this place, in this state, they are not regulated, so prices of things will skyrocket. Fuel price will obviously skyrocket. Everything is going to affect a lot, and I'm just wondering how we're going to survive. And seeing that, and, and it came in the middle of the NLC strike, which also happened yeah. earlier this week, where um, we saw that the Labour Congress went on a winning strike. And I'm glad it was called off almost immediately because it was. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at the impending danger that was about to happen, and I'm glad that you know um, they called off the strike and yeah. things are back to normal now. Without wasting so much time, I think that's all we have for yeah. um, politics and. Over to entertainment with MM and Ella. See you. Thank you so much, Amara and Obina. You know what time it is. This is the entertainment corner, and I am your favorite baby girl, MM Udo. And you know, as usual, 
It's the beautiful <laughs> Emanuela Palmer. Yeah, so last episode, we actually missed out on a very important information, which was uh, the wow. Grammy nomination list for 2024, yeah. which is finally out. And Nigerians are making us proud True. because we have the likes of David Doe, Ira Star. Um, Ashake, I mean, they had they were nominated and it's, it's crazy. Yes, I'm hearing familiar names there, but the one that broke the internet was our OBO mm -hmm. Baddest David O. David o, David o got Grammy's nomination. Do you know yeah, how long me. he has been waiting? Like you said, delay is not denial, and I agree. But people are actually saying that we hope he win this award because not because of just the nomination, he, but he has high chances to win if not all the three, at least one or something. But you know, before now, I actually didn't know that the video has not gotten nomination. He has before. never gotten nomination. That's why there's always a fight between Whiskey FC and you know the video fans because of this Grammy award. Well, big congratulations to them. Well, starting off this week too was something actually really exciting. Excited that it's still trending up to now. So Rema, Rema is doing good. He's doing great. <laughs> Rema, Rema actually sold out um, his concert at the O2 Arena. Mm, you know, last week we talked about Rema at the Ballon d'Or Award, and now he's selling out the O2 Arena. Rema is small, it's but not, it's not like a new cart. It's, it's not. It's, not it's, a, it's a new cart make, make, making waves actually. Because I'm actually glad. But the catch here is that you know his appearance in one of his performance was him on a horse and yeah. then wearing a Benin mask, and people thought that was him. And um, depicting demonic, like giving Satanic demonic vibes, <laughs> and I didn't see it like that. And also, his lyrics was one of his songs from Black Panther theme. When Pantara. they said he was, it seemed like as if he was chanting. chanting I mean, you are in this concert and you don't know all his songs. Right. But apart from that, when I saw when he came on stage the first time, I was just like, ah, crazy costume. But I wasn't thinking uh, he's looking Something satanic or he's looking like devilish. <laughs> People, how do they think? People should actually chill and just enjoy the performance and stop forcing the demonic vibe on Rema. Please leave Rema. Well, regardless, Rema. the concert was a really, truly That's an exciting successful. one. Well, on foreign scene, hmm. this rumor is actually very funny. So there are rumors going around that ASAP Rocky and Rihanna hmm. are expecting baby number three. Fata and this, Rihanna. And this is going to be baby number two for the year 2023. Is that how it works? Is that how it works, <laughs> M -M? I don't know. But I, I mean, ASAP Rocky you should give um, you know a plan of how he's doing it because but regardless <laughs> children are a gift from god yeah. congratulations to you congrats if oh, it's please, actually true please <laughs> chill chill please <laughs> well we have more of these exciting stories to talk about as usual so kindly stick with us as we go to the news in details the joint national executive council nec of the nandria labor congress and the trade union congress on wednesday night resolved to suspend the ongoing indefinite nationwide strike by workers. The Labour Union said the suspension followed the intervention of the National Security Advisor NSA, Nuhu Ribadu. U.S. President Joe Biden has confirmed that the U.S. and China will resume military-to-military -military communication after a long period of radio silence. Biden disclosed this after a long-awaited face-to-face meeting with Chinese leader Xi Jinping. Edo State Governor Godwin Abasaki has congratulated Bendel Insurance goalkeeper Amas Obasugi on his maiden invitation to the Super Eagles. Obasugi was under the late invitation for the Super Eagles 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers against Lesotho and Zimbabwe on Monday to replace Sudanese goalkeeper Maduka Okoye who pulled out due to injury. Nigerian music sensation Rema sold out the O2 Arena for a show which happened on Tuesday. The landmark sold at concept tagged Ravage Uprising. Streamed by over 40,000 people on YouTube, Rema treat fans with a collection of his major hit songs. Although the superstar's appearance during the show has sparked a lot of reaction, the concert was indeed a thrilling and exciting one. American actress and singer Kiki Palmer has received full custody of her and Darius Jackson's eight-month-old son. This is coming after she filed a court case against him on grounds of domestic abuse. Welcome, Welcome back, back, guys. Taking the cue from Ella and Emblem, I think that Nigerians should, not just Nigerians, Rema fans should focus on the real witches and leave... <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. Is leave because I don't feel it was that deep. Anyways. Like you were there. I also. Okay, like you saw videos. I understand. I was there. So me, I'm preparing for Dirty December. It's already I here. don't know about you, but I think December is going to be spoofing. Exactly. I think Obina is going to finally spend money on me. Like I've always been doing, which never takes note of. But anyways. Okay, I hope you guys have a chill 
beautiful, rememberable weekend. And follow us, like, share, share to your friends now, comment on our social media at CSL Nigeria TV. TV. Till next, next week. Next week. Bye. Bye.